Hello friends, it's summer with Hammond's Nest and I'm happy to be live with you today. Um, I'm back from spring break. So I've been on spring break with my kiddos. Um, the last time I was live with y'all, you knew that I was crafting with them. So um, that was really fun and a memorable, a memorable live for sure. So I'm hoping I get some live viewers today, but if I don't and you're watching this on the replay, still say hello. Tell me what you think about this cute and simple project. If you blink, this project will probably be over. It may take me a little bit longer, but I have a little bit of time before I go run to get in car lines. So I wanted to spend that with y'all because I'm so excited. I, I miss my kids. Of course, I miss my kids so much. And they went back to school for the first time today from spring break. But uh, there's just something I'm just better about being kind of in work mode. I'm truly blessed to do this for a living and it's so super fun. But it's definitely, you know, it's work. And, and I, um, I had to take a step back from spending so much time in the studio this past week. And, uh, and that's why I've kind of been quiet. So we had such a blast. Normally we would go out of town for spring break, but um, we just made the best of a staycation. So if you kept up with the couple of posts I shared, we just did like everything there was to do. <laughs> we went bowling, we went to the zoo, we went to the aquarium, we went to the park, we went to multiple parks actually, and just did nature walks and did playgrounds and did all that fun stuff. So that's what I've been up to the past week. And that's why I've been a little bit more quiet, but I'm excited to get back in the studio. I've got to finish up some Easter projects and some spring projects. And I want to show with you, I show as much as you can, and I still have to do my spring mantle. And um, so I've got a lot to do as, as we always, uh, all of us do, but it's good to see you or you to see me, I see your names coming in. Um, and excited to spend some time with you. So let me get this pulled up so I can see your comments over here. I appreciate those chatting in the comments, um, throwing hearts and thumbs up to let me know you're here. That sends Facebook a good message that you like what you see. So you'll see more of me pop up in case you aren't on our text list and get our live notifications. They'll let you um, see more of me. So I appreciate that so much. And um, so here's what I got for you. Now, <laughs> hey, all you beautiful people, Tabitha and Cynthia and Jill and Mandy from Western Grace, uh, Mary, hey, Mary Jane, and Cynthia and Shonda and Vicki and Alicia, I see a few, appreciate y'all. Hey, my Canadian friend, Karen, how are you? Um, I hope I don't have a bad connection. It was kind of showing me I did, so hopefully it is all well and good, but um, in between all that spring break fun, y'all, I have had a horrible earache. I know, but there's so many other things could be worse, but I've been on antibiotics because I don't know what happened, but I just had the most awful ear infection. And um, that keeps me from doing a lot of things. Like I had to be pretty careful and kind of protecting um, that pain in your ear because that is no fun, right? Any of y'all that's ever had an ear infection? No fun at all. All this weather changing maybe and just upper respiratory stuff. So in between all that, having the kiddos and doing spring break, that's where I've been. <laughs> that is why I've been a little bit more quiet. Um, oh, hello, Nancy in Michigan. And it's Cynthia says it's raining in Kansas. We're supposed to get some a really a lot of rain here in North Louisiana um, later tonight. I actually just got one of those um, like weather warning texts that it was going to be like flash flooding. So, you know prayers there. I hope that that all stays away from us really and not as bad as they're predicting. So thank y'all so much for sprinkling Cricut. You're so sweet for those stars. Thank you. Well, let me get to this, uh, take a few minutes to say hi to y'all because it means so much for you to uh, hang on with me live. This one is so super simple. I hope you don't think it's just like too simple. It's not even that special, but here's the, here's the deal. There's so much that y'all could do to make this one your own. And it is so simple, easy that I almost didn't even consider sharing it, but I'm making some for my house. So y'all get in on that, right? And uh, I'm going to make several of these off camera. I'm going to make one with you real quick. I'm going to make several off camera and then I'm going to share what it looks like all together. But I'm using these. If anybody else has any of these or has done this, let me know. But this $3.99, of course, I did pay $3.99. I got it 40, 50% off uh, for the... Easter crafts and these are just the big foam they're made of foam um, eggs and I am going to just do a fabric wrap so I actually have another one already made in a different color that I'm going to show you at the end of the video and then like as promised I told you I'm gonna make a bunch more off camera and I'm gonna style I say a bunch more but enough to do like a bowl and a bowl full of them 
and hopefully you like this idea and it inspires you and you make some of your own. Oh no, Pamela says it's thunder and lightning where she's at in Kansas. Those spring storms. We love spring, but with it comes those showers that those flowers need and all that good stuff. Hello, Kim from Kansas. Thank you so much, my ears. I couldn't be talking with y'all live today doing this. I couldn't even barely hear my, I didn't even want to hear myself talk because <laughs> it hurts so bad. Um, the kids and the husband did a great job of trying to keep some of the screeching down. I had to skip some of the music yesterday at church. I had to like wait and go in for the sermon <laughs> because some of the loud music in there, um, just trying to protect my eardrums, you know, that hurts. This is no fun. It's just like this pain that sticks with you. <laughs> um, thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. So we got one fall mag I said I'm gonna do on camera here for you. Look at this fabric. A lot of y'all ask me all the time and I'm happy to share resources. Um, I have no problem telling you where I get things from. This one came from Hobby Lobby. And that is honestly where, there may be a few that I get from Walmart. Cause we don't have a Joann Fabrics here. Um, and I do, Michaels is kind of a far drive for me. Does Michaels have fabric? I don't, think, I don't even know if Michaels has fabric, honestly. That's how much I don't really shop at Michaels that much um, because it's in a different town a little bit further away from me. And uh, But I get most everything from Hobby Lobby, so a lot of what you see. Uh, we're going to do that whole pretty uh, ripped fabric thing. And hi, Deb from Ohio. Hey, Jen. How are you? And if you've never seen me rip fabric before, this is just the end piece. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> If you've never seen me rip fabric before, you just take a little slit, you know, a piece of your um, your scissors and just cut a little snippet to get it started like, like so. And then it's very therapeutic. And um, I'm not kidding when I say that I love fabric. Y'all see me use fabric all the time. So um, the ripped fabric is definitely one of my favorite looks. That's why you see me feature it so often. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have enough strips just to work with so I don't have to worry about cutting anymore before I finish this egg with y'all. So, thank y'all so much for those hearts and saying hello. That means so much. The eggs, these came from Hobby Lobby, like in the crafty, the crafty Easter section. Um, they were like $2 for 12 of them, maybe $2.50, something like that. Um... Hancock Fabric Store, I'm not sure, Mary. Um, anybody that lives near me, because I'm in North Louisiana, like near uh, Ruston, uh, let me know if there's another fabric store that's, I know some of the local fabric stores and I've gone in and looked at different stuff, but uh, sometimes this, um, you know, you just get the fabrics. Sometimes it's actually good if they're not made super well because they rip even easier. But um, I really like the selection at Hobby Lobby. And so I tend, because I'm in there so much as it is already. So, oh, I'm sorry your your Joann's is closing. I've, I've heard so many people mention Joann's, and um, I do wish that I had one near me. All right, today I've just got some regular hot glue. That's all, nothing special. I'm going to start a little bit on the top. And when I tell y'all, if you were here right when I hopped on, I said this is so easy. But what if you haven't thought about it? <laughs> what if you really, really like the way this looks and then the next time you're in the store, you grab some eggs. I will be so happy that this gave you a cool idea. Some really hot glue. I might should have turned it down on low temp. Um, I probably should have my finger protectors on. Let me go ahead and do that just in case. Yeah, I don't really know. There was one um, in Monroe near the college. That might be the one you're talking about. <clears throat> near uh, NLU, ULM. But I think that was Hancock. And I don't, to my knowledge, it's not open anymore. But I may not, not know. Okay, so. I'm going to keep wrapping. And what I'm doing here, if y'all watch me make like the fabric carrots, it's just kind of a similar, you're just kind of squinching. <laughs> I made up that word, it's a terrible word. Uh, you're just kind of gathering the fabric and doing a little bit of glue at, the, at a time. I wouldn't try to like put glue, it might look cool like that, but I liked the way this technique looked. Gave it a little bit more movement. 
which the fabric's already great because it has a lot of texture, obviously, which is why I'm so drawn to fabric projects. But um, the fact that you're kind of like gathering the fabric like this, it just gives it a lot more texture. So let me keep gluing and talking. And um, I'm gonna keep that out of my little thing there. You can work as fast or as slow as you want to. I probably should have this finger protector on my thumb. Now that I think about it. I'm looking at the two primary fingers I'm using. And if you see any fabric kind of sticking up, you know, you can do little glue dobs here and there. But it looks really cool. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use, I have a few different fabrics, fabrics and I'll show you all here at the end of the video because I'm not going to be on for very long. It's going to be pretty quick. And I'm going to show you the few different fabrics that I'm going to make some of and the little bowl that I'm going to style it in. It's a little milk glass bowl. And I think I'll leave them in there, but who knows. When I'm starting to drag out all the rest of um, the Easter and spring stuff, trying to finish styling different places in the house, I might um, use in different places. You know how that goes. <laughs> Are y'all like that? You have intentions of using something somewhere in particular, but then as you're doing the process, you know, that could change. You just never know. Linda Delutri, thank you so much for sprinkling. Uh, Maggie, uh, this is just a regular, just cotton fabric. It could be like a blend. I'm no fabric expert. I just know when I go into a store, I like the way something looks or feels. Um, I buy it for those couple different reasons. I don't tend to use anything heavier, like, what is it, like duck cloth is what they call it, maybe? Like, I don't tend to use that kind of stuff. I use stuff that's typically a little bit more thinner, like a muslin, maybe a little bit heavier than a muslin. And then I really do love, if you've been with me for a little while, you know how much I love uh, repurposing the canvas drop cloths for um, fabric. So you can cut those up and use those like fabric too. Oh, this is looking so good. Look how cute that is. So I'll give you a little close up look at that. So just if you can't find what you want in the store, like I couldn't find anything like this. Like I really wanted some eggs. They were just a little bit different. And with some rip factor, I mean, these hardly any, you get what I paid $2, $2.50 for 12 of these and wrapping them in some fabric, really good price. Really good deal for these little custom creations. Yes, the drop cloth, if y'all if y'all like my style at all, having a drop cloth on hand to to just craft with is one of my favorite things, honestly. And I tend to even use it more lately. I just love the look of it. I love the color of it. I like that it's a little imperfect looking. Just goes with my style. But you know, you can also paint drop cloth. You could dye it any color you wanted. And that's another idea, in case you didn't like the color. We're almost wrapped. Oh, Cheryl, you received your happy mail. Oh my gosh, I do need to do a shout out real quick and show y'all what a sweet uh, friend follower um, sent me in the mail. And I insisted on something I was looking for and she saw me comment about it. And, um, and she insisted on sending it to me and would not let me pay her. I'm gonna show y'all what she sent me and y'all, and I'm gonna do a little thank you to her. That was so sweet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot to even say anything about this. Not because it's a really big deal, but um, we had 80,000 followers on the main page. 80,000 followers, 80,000 friends to share in the love of crafting and creating. That is super spectacular. And kind of came out of nowhere because <laughs> what happened was, yeah, you can do stencils on the drop cloth. Um, I have a little drop cloth project planned. Um, another one. <laughs> but okay, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> the 80,000 followers, what happens is sometimes if you have something out there in Facebook world, that is doing really, really, really well, you know, you can grow like a lot of followers overnight. And what happened was, y'all know that pillow that we made, the bunny pillow, the one with the drop cloth bunnies on it, the Dollar Tree pillow, uh, dish towel turned pillow. That's what it is, sorry. The Dollar Tree dish towel turned pillow. That one has gone crazy. And so what happens is that basically just allows more people to find my page. So 
all of a sudden we hit this 80,000 number and I'm like, wow. Um, so thank you so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate that. And it's just a number. It's, um, I don't put a lot of validation in it, but it just means that we're doing something right. And it means that people are seeing all the creative things and I'm really thankful for that. All right. So here's our little egg. So let me take these off. Hold on. Um, you can buy drop cloth, Cheryl, just at any like hardware store or anything. Uh, like Walmart sells drop cloths, Lowe's, Home Depot, all those kind of places. Oh, uh, they even have really cheap drop cloths. I think it, like if you have a Harbor Freight near you, um, my husband was pretty tickled that, uh, that Harbor Freight landed in Ruston, which is a little bit closer to us than the one in West Monroe. <laughs> um, he took me in there over spring break and that was fun. Okay. I'll give you a close up look of this beautiful tattered fabric egg. It's so cute. So imagine a bunch of these like in a bowl. Let me show you the other one I did. So the other one I did was this pretty like vintage blue color. Okay. So when I tell you it's a simple idea, super simple idea, but I'm going to do a couple more of these and these. I probably won't need that many for these. And then I have this fabric, which is just pretty plain, like a muslin almost. And I'm going to do some of those. So see how those go together. They kind of complement each other. Let's see. Um, but I love that I've got one neutral pattern and then I've got one pretty color, almost like a robin's egg blue, but in a, a more vintage sense. But look how pretty this little milk glass is. So I just thought it was really cute and it needs, you know, several of these. So I'm going to make a bunch of those and kind of just it's real simple. But I just kind of wanted to show y'all where my vision was. And I really hope that you like the idea. The eggs to recap came from Hobby Lobby. Um, a 12 pack, $3.99 full price, but you know, but whatever fabrics, and if you like brighter spring colors, you could wrap them in any fabric you want. I, I consistently remind y'all that if you have a brighter style than I do, you can do anything when I show you all the different fabrics, but hang tight. So I'm going to set that there. That's going to look really good. So it's like a, it's like a blue gray. It's blue. Like I see blue. Um, it could be just some of the light making it look more gray. Like my shirt's gray, but the egg has a little bit more blue in it. I don't know. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show y'all one more thing before I pop off. So I have to say a very, very huge thank you to Pamela Jankowski. She is so sweet. She sent me some happy mail. And I could not find these, y'all. And I looked in multiple Dollar Trees. I mean, I, every town I was in, I was looking in the Dollar Tree for these. Because they're the little ETH, uh, ETH, ETH, egg wreath forms from Dollar Tree. So they're shaped like an egg instead of just like a plain circle. And she sent me several. So, um, Pamela Jankowski from Wisconsin. You're amazing. She is already a really sweet friend of the page. She's very supportive and that means more than anything. But the Happy Mail, hello. That is so fun. I love sending Happy Mail, but getting Happy Mail, yeah, that's even better, huh? Um, so, can't wait to make one of those really popular. They are, like, really popular this year. The little egg wreaths um, where you put eggs in between two of these and, like, wrap them. Anyway, I'm going to give it a whirl. And I'm not sure if that's something I'll try to do live because it seems like it's going to take a while. But uh, I'll definitely share it with y'all. And thank you again, Pamela. So, so sweet for that. But I hope that you liked the, uh, the fabric egg idea. And that you'll give it a try with some different fabrics. If you do and you're part of our um, group over there, the Creative Sharing Group, share it with me. Um, you can also text me, 318-414-8279. You can text me a picture of your project. I love seeing that too. And um, I'll share a picture after I make some more of these off camera. I'll share a picture of my little milk glass with my fabric eggs. So that was fun, quick, and simple. And I appreciate y'all so much. Isn't that thoughtful, Vicki? Yes. Yay. That's awesome, Emma. You have, you do have two badges. Those are awesome. Thank you for following along on the page. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I will, I'll, I'll just do a little supply list. I, I work on different things. So I like kind of 
sometimes do the projects live with y'all and then sometimes I write a blog over on hammondsnest.com and then there I can sometimes give supply lessons. Sometimes I do a short video. It's just varied. So um, I'm happy to do a little supply list here in the comments or something. It's super simple supply list. So y'all are awesome. I gotta go run and get my kids from school. It's great to be back with you here after spring break. Thank you for chatting with me. I hope y'all are excited to um, see spring. <laughs> I don't know what spring looks like for you where you are. I know it's all very different. Some people are still literally getting snow today, and I understand that. But here, it is definitely warming up and highs in the 70s. Thank you, Jen. Jen says, don't forget to join the text group. Love to have you as a text friend. It's a free group. I just send notifications when I'm going to be live or when I have a new something on the blog or a new short video. So it's not a ton. It's just to help you stay connected with me through all the different... Um, Things like with Facebook, not showing you everything, obviously. There's a lot to look at on Facebook. So, if you don't want to miss a thing, I would love for you to be a text friend. Thank y'all so much. Y'all have a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. And I will touch base with y'all again this week. Okay? Bye.